Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with the Nation newspaper. The major story here. NNPCL, Dangote Refinery fails to meet 1.65 billion liters supply. Plant supplied 317 million liters in 35 days. No new case in court, says Dangote Refinery. Another story here, Najama's transformative leadership in NCAA. Student Loan Now Fund offers additional 92 billion naira portal firmly secured. And uh, those are some of the stories on the front page of the Nation newspaper. To the Nigeria News Direct, Federal Government Mall's $2.4 billion revenue is additional crude production of 1 million barrels per day as oil producers propose incentives for government to boost production. Government approves ex ExxonMobil Seplat divestment, declines shell Renaissance, Renaissance uh, deal. Another story here. Under Guba, PDP Blask and Duji over capture comment back score for redeployment or for resident electoral commissioner. Federal government begins implementation of 300% salary increase for judicial officers. And uh, Bob Risky panel uncovers preferential treatment, corruption in prison. Some stories on the front page of the Nigeria News Direct. To this Nigeria newspaper now, Great Collapse, sad story of greed and grief. System failed 99 times under Buhari, 8 times in the current administration. Senate told in 2015 Nigeria spent 2.7 trillion naira between 1999 and 2015 for electricity. The Regulatory Commission uh, fixes October the 24th for public hearing. Now, Tinubu approves owner-occupier housing scheme for judges in federal capital territory, says Wiki. Housing others guarantee independence of judiciary. At the top corner, IPOP seat at home cripples activities in Southeast. Some stories on the front page of this Nigerian newspaper. To the New Telegraph now. Frequent national grid collapse fueling high cost of reduction, says Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Ready to jettison network for alternative energy, says recurring incidents erodes profit, spells doom for local manufacturers. The Regulatory Commission fixes public hearing on incessant grid collapse on October the 24th. We have no hand in slot allocation for Heathrow, UK rights, Nigeria, air peace. Another story here. NIS, we stop Bob Risky's attempt to flee country at Semibode. Federal government panel, no evidence, cross-dresser stayed outside prison. But some stories there on the front page of the new Telegraph. To the... Daily Times now, it's treasonable to call for military coup, defense headquarters once. Says security agencies order to go after those calling for military takeover. And uh, the picture story there, a sad one. A truck rolled backwards while ascending the bridge fell on the car due to mechanical failure at Stella Bridge towards inwards Ijeshatedu, Lagos. Now, crude production, Tinubu tasks NUPRC industry players to, on joint realization, says increased oil production will mean more job opportunities, increased revenue for government, more stable energy supply, approves owner-occupier housing scheme for judges in FCT. And at the top corner... There, leadership deficits, major global challenge. That's what former president Tulisha Gumabasanjo is quoted as saying. Now to the leadership newspaper. Insecurity, federal government beams searchlight on personnel selling arms. Ten soldiers arrested in four years extend action to police paramilitary experts is quoted as saying. And uh, a story here. Uluo chased me away like a child. Only is quoted as saying. 25 villages, village, villages, communities submerged in Edo flood. WHO declares Egypt malaria free. 
Bandits kill three persons in Niger. Some of the stories we find on the front page of the leadership newspaper to the Daily Trust now. How we recovered consignment of drugs from Senator Ashiru's house, NDLEA. AIDS arrested, one jailed. Allegations not true. That's what the Lomica is quoted as saying. Issue must be properly investigated. CSOs. Now, push for Damagam's tenure extension intensifies. And at the top corner, Dangote withdraws 100 billion, million, billion naira suit against NMPCL, others over import licenses. Some of the stories on the front page of the Daily Trust. To the first news newspaper now, Senator Ashiru Dez, NDLEA, prosecute anyone found with drugs in my house. That's what he's quoted as saying. Now, Ulura Mitinubu to clerics, speak truth to leaders, don't cause an uh, insult. And uh, panic in Tinubu's cabinet, ministers and urge as looming reshuffle beckons. Some stories on the front page of the first news newspaper. Let me. I begin here with uh, Daily Independent, and the big story here is on the party crisis. PDP governors plan soft landing for Damagun and Yawu. Some of them are in Lola Committee mid a National Assembly caucus on dwindling fortunes of the party. PDP says Ganduja's statement on Undo could truncate democracy. We have assembled a legal team to review Nigerian laws, the federal government uh, says. That's according to the Attorney General, uh, to be specific, uh, Defense Headquarters once. Against Kofoku says it is treasonable offense. The major stories on the front page of Daily Independence and also on Daily News Hub, still on the PDP crisis. Governors rescue Damagum are the rival to vacate office as part of resource crisis leaves suspension on uh, National Working Committee members. PDP governors affirm party unity and doors on 2024. Gilbert candidates warn we do not want a repeat of a do election fraud in Undo states. Saludo Science and Ambra Lucky Government Law says absolute autonomy, a recipe for chaos. In River State, weekend loyalists declare pro for lawmakers sit vacant. And to the blueprint, after Bakuba, Fallen or Tango, Supreme Court begins hearing today. Our critics feel in the heat, the EFCC says. Uh, Rearranged ex Quara Governor Ahmed over 5.78 billion naira fraud. We have recovered drugs from Deputy Senate Leader Ashiru's Isles. That's according to the NDLEA. I will not dignify the agency's wild allegations with a rebuttal. The lawmaker is responding. Leadership deficit global issue not peculiar to Nigeria. Abbasan Joyce quoted as saying, and troops destroy. 32 bunkering sites, 54 local boats recover crude in the Niger Delta. Some stories on the front page of the blueprint to the hope. Ayedatiwa tames on door flood, orders heavy equipment as commissioner decries indiscriminate waste disposal. Still in on door court, uh, Jones ex speaker lawmaker case for alleged uh, corruption. Aida Atiwa Hills, a rare affair by Balola's investment in education and judicial riscality in Nigeria. But the judge tells uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Let's go to the platform times. Ogumona Karen for alleged 75 million naira fraud, assault and police officer. Another story has says uh, Makin Day inaugurates 480 Amoteko Forest Rangers to tackle kidnapping. Dangote Refinery six court order to nullify NNPCL's input licenses in 100 billion naira suit. Open government partners with a national malaria program to distribute 3.1 million uh, insecticide treated nets. Some stories on the front page of the Platform Times uh, to the Guardian Pro Masters Bills stalls at uh, the National Assembly as political motions get priority. 
anxiety as court prepares to rule on Kano Council poll. Bobriski did not stay outside the prison during sentence, says investigation panel. EFCC mocks critics, rearranged ex-governor over 5.78 billion naira fraud. Abbas Anjo Wans of Global Conflict says 92 countries fighting 58 wars. And uh, the PDP ramps up internal reforms as the NEC, the NWC governors prepare for critical decisions. The major story is on the front page of The Guardian. And finally, on Sporting Life, Real Madrid versus Dortmund, Ancelotti wants a goals against uh, overpressing from Mbappe. And Dortmund coach also praises uh, Guler over the match. Salah wants a three-year deal extension. And Chelsea must ditch Sanchez. The major story is on the front page of the newspapers this morning. Veronica. Mm, okay. Well, I believe that uh, our viewers have been 